Disney Frozen. Babysitting the Troll Tots, Anna pulled on her boots. Her friends, Kristoff and Sven, would be there any minute. It was a beautiful spring evening, and they were going to Troll Valley to watch over the toddler trolls while the adults went to their annual magical prophesying convention. Are you sure you don't need me to come? Elsa asked. I can provide some magical help. I think we've got it covered, Anna said, giving her sister a quick hug. They're just babies. How hard could it be? Soon, Anna, Kristoff, and Sven were off toward the setting sun. They admired the dusky sky as Kristoff told Anna stories about growing up with the sweet and silly trolls. I wonder if I should have brought games, Anna said. Do trolls like games? Oh, don't worry, Kristoff responded. They'll probably sleep the whole time. I bet we'll be relaxing by the fire, maybe eating some snacks. He explained that Bolda, his adopted mother, had a very strict bedtime for all the young trolls. Sven grunted in agreement. As soon as they reached Troll Valley, they saw dozens of mossy rocks rolling toward them. Suddenly, the trolls appeared, and a chorus of greetings erupted. Kristoff, Sven, Anna, welcome! We missed you! Anna, you're too skinny, said Bolda. Let me get some mud pies. Anna politely declined. Then Bolda thanked them for troll sitting. It seems like just yesterday you were young enough to have a sitter, Kristoff, said Bolda. Remember when all he wanted to do was run naked through the valley? Grandpappy asked. Oh, really? Anna asked, stifling a giggle. You never mentioned that. Okay, that's enough stories for now. Kristoff said. Next, Bolda took Anna and Kristoff to the Troll Tots. If they get hungry, you can feed them smashed berries. And they may need a leaf change, but it's just about their bedtime, so they should be sleeping soon. As the adult trolls headed off, Anna waved. Have a great time. Everything is going to be... A disaster! Anna, Kristoff, and Sven had turned to see the toddler trolls had escaped from their pen. They were running, climbing, and swinging all over the place. Oh, no, no, Anna said, rushing to help a few trolls who were climbing up the boulders. That's dangerous. Kristoff ran to the leaning tower of trolls that had sprouted. All right, guys. Kristoff said, gently pulling the trolls off one another. Let's settle down now. But the more Kristoff, Anna, and Sven tried to calm the little trolls, the wilder they became. Maybe they're hungry, Anna said, heading for the basket of smashed berries. Yummy, she cooed. But the trolls clearly felt they had better things to do. Maybe they need changing. Kristoff bravely peered into one of the trolls' nappy leaves. Nope. Let's put them to bed, Anna suggested. They must be tired by now. But alas, the young trolls were wide awake. Suddenly, a cheery voice interrupted them. Hello, troll babies. It was their friend Olaf. Elsa sent me in case you needed some help, Olaf explained turning to the clamoring trolls. Why, hi there. <laughs> that tickles. Boy, are we glad to see you, Kristoff said. Anna ran to greet the snowman. But in her hurry, she tripped, falling face first into the basket of berries. Whoa! Kristoff rushed to her side. Anna, are you okay? Anna lifted her head her face covered in dripping purple goop. The little trolls burst into loud giggles. They stampeded toward her, lapping up the berry juice on her cheeks. Anna laughed. Well, I guess that's one way to feed them. After the trolls were done, they sat in a heap, happy and full. Suddenly, a strange smell floated in the air. The trolls looked down at their leaves. Uh-oh, 
Kristoff said knowingly. Olaf, you distract them. Olaf happily told the little troll stories about his most favorite thing in the world, summer. Anna and Sven collected leaves while Kristoff changed diapers. Soon, everyone was clean and sweet-smelling once more. And now for my show-stopping song about summer, Olaf announced. Anna noticed that the trolls were swaying. Some of them were having trouble keeping their eyes open. Actually, she said, maybe Kristoff and Sven would like to sing a lullaby instead. Good thing I brought my lute, Kristoff replied, while Anna and Olaf put the trolls to bed. rock a bye trollies in your small pen, Kristoff sang. Time to go sleepy for Uncle Sven. Kristoff crooned, changing his voice, pretending to be the reindeer. By the time the adult trolls returned, the wee ones were sound asleep. Wow, great job, Bolda whispered. It was easy, Anna replied, elbowing Kristoff. Piece of mud pie, Kristoff added. Bolda smiled and hugged her friends. You two will be great parents someday.